Recently, one of my subscribers asked me the most important question a bartender will ever hear. Am I a pussy for liking 7 and 7s? My go-to answer to this is always no, drink what you like, but his question reminded me of another comment I've been meaning to make a video about on the subject of mixers. Here's the thing, while there's nothing wrong with enjoying simple drinks, there are easy, low-cost ways of improving them, and they fall into three categories. Quality spirits, quality mixers, and ice. Take the 7 and 7. There's nothing wrong with mixing whiskey with 7-Up, but if you look closely at a bottle of Seagram's, the label says it's 75% grain-neutral spirits. That, my friends, is fancy talk for vodka. That's right, Seagram's is 75% vodka. Swap any bourbon for the Seagram's and the drink will taste better, I promise. Can't get enough whiskey Cokes? Use Mexican Coke. It uses cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Are you a Jameson and ginger guy? Swap ginger ale for ginger beer. It's less sweet and has more of a bite. If you think the vodka soda can't be improved, try it with the Rolls Royce of Mineral Waters Topo Chico. Companies like Fever Tree and Q make quality mixers that are easy to find and will make your drinks better. And if you're content with the humble screwdriver, quit using pasteurized OJ, dust off that citrus reamer, and juice fresh. It makes a big difference. That leaves ice. Refrigerator ice is fine for guests, but treat yourself to an upgrade and get the richest man alive to send you some premium ice molds like this one. And make sure he sends it second day. Don't worry, he can afford it. If you're wondering about glassware, don't. Glassware looks nice, but won't make your drink better, with the exception of the Glencairn. If you're a whiskey nerd, you need a Glencairn. I want to give a quick shout to Punch. They're an online magazine about bars, bartenders, and really anything drinks related. They mentioned me and linked to my channel in one of their emails, and I got some subscribers out of it. So Punch, thank you. And if you want to up your drinks game at home, or you just enjoy reading about booze, check out their website. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow.